Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this one, it's a little bit different, but nothing new. Um, today, we just got a side by side comparison with the Logitech C920, which is this one that I'm pointing directly to. And this one being the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Epoch Cam Pro, the Pro version. Um, the Pro version just enables you to. Um, unlock like the 1080p uh, quality of the phone and some other features like being able to use the microphone from the iPhone as well. But um, I will just let you know that there is a LUT on both cameras, but as you can tell, like the C920, like so overexposed, I'm under the same light. It doesn't help with my uh, bald head though reflecting the light but with the c920 oh the uh iphone's just uh having a moment it's currently standing on the osmo mobile i just don't think it likes the size of it or the weight of it there we go back in business every now and again it'll just like sp spam out Ah, let's just go back to there. Give it a moment, it'll probably do it again. But um, I can't remember what I was saying now, something about my bald head. Um, but yeah, it's a no-brainer. You can see which one looks so much better. And so if you've got an iPhone, I would highly recommend you just get the Epoch Cam Pro with something like $7.99 to buy it and then it's yours then um rather than oh my gosh you know what i'm gonna take it off the stand without closing the app hopefully so we're gonna go freehand now so yeah basically you have a wireless webcam can take it anywhere with you, put it in any position of the room. And this just changes everything. It's so good. And so now like when I do an Oculus gaming video or something, I can now put my phone in the other room because we've got a bit more space. There's not much space in here. But see if I can actually change the camera angle. Because again with the Epoch Cam Pro, if you've um if you've got a 12 Pro or 13 Pro, one with the three lenses, you can use the wide angle lens. So, so this is the telephoto zoom one. Still, the quality is good. I've got a really shaky hand though. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the ultra wide. It's proper, oh my gosh, it just doesn't, it's not very flattering on, on my body though. <laughs> But still, like, super awesome. I could, like... <laughs> just have the camera there. I mean, it just gives you videos and streams a whole new perspective, and it looks so cool. I mean, you can see... And you can now see the room that I'm in. And it's nothing special. Like, no nice decorations or anything. But it's awesome. I love it. Um, so in future streams and stuff, I'm going to give this a try with my iPhone being the webcam. But yeah, it's so good. And now I can look at the back of my head. Ugh, that's awful. Oh, yeah. Portrait as well. Go back to. Right, we can flip the camera. So now we're using the selfie cam. Um, again, really good quality. Do it that way. Or that way. I think we can flip that, actually. If I do... Oh, oh my god. No, almost dropped it. So let's flip. There we go. That's better. So now we're using the selfie camera. Again, the quality is still very good. Good, sharp. You can see my 
spots, looks horrible, got really bad skin. Jumping back to the rear camera, obviously the quality is going to be a lot better, but not a massive difference, but still good, really freaking good. Yeah. What do you guys think? Cool desktop, right? Um, so yeah, more videos coming in the future using my iPhone as a webcam. It's going to be so good. So more Oculus videos <laughs> featuring face cam. Because at the moment, I just do a lot of virtual reality videos with no cam. Because obviously I've got no space in this room. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you did, see you in the next one.